in the 80s and 90s, people were thinking more and more of how to improve the winemaking. And people, if you did the WSCT um, course, in the past, people would say, go to the Doe to see ancient history, because they're still making wine there the way the, the Romans made wine. I mean, if, if you go to Pompeii, you see the graffiti on the wall, not the graffiti, the, the wall paintings. You see people making wine, treading grapes. And we still do that. You'll do it tomorrow night if you yeah. want. We're going to do it at Vesuvio. There's not a single iota of difference to what we do at Vesuvio to what the Romans did 2,000 years ago. And port was still being made that way. Now, I believe that over 2,000 years, uh, humankind has actually advanced somewhat. And there are some improvements you can make. And I believe that our company, uh, not, not in everything we do, but in this area, I think we've improved things really significantly from, um, from, from over... And, and if you come here, I'll just explain why, because it was quite, it, this was quite a serious uh, step forward. Um, basically, there, there's, there's a key thing about port making, which is that, um, that the Lagar, even if there was no other factor, the fact, the, the, the fact that you have a large surface area is fundamentally important. If you think of a round fermentation tank, you have a, a, a very a very tall blanket of the skins and pits and the juice is underneath. So all the winemaking, whether you're making Lafitte or, or anywhere else, is about moving the juice around with the with the, the skin and getting the cap moist and getting colour and flavours. The fact the mere fact that you have a flat open tank means that the cap is spread out. So if you if you think about it, you have a lot of surface, a lot of contact between the juice and the skin. So just the shape in itself is a good thing. Just the basic shape is a really excellent thing. Um, so just making a tank like this was already the right thing. So when we decided to try and modernize the traditional treading, not because we wanted to stop traditional treading, we still do traditional treading, but we wanted to make more wine with gas. But each tank needs 20 or 30 people. How are you going to get them to tread three or four hours a night? We all do it for fun tomorrow night, but you don't really want to do it for five weeks flat out, you know, however romantic it is. It, the, the, the romanticism wears off very quickly. So we had to think of some way of making wine in a tank which uh, it, it got, got the same um, results as a, uh, as a Lagar, but without having to have 20 people doing it. So these tanks are built on exactly the same dimensions as some of the, Lagar, some of the Lagars we have in the Rio Toto Valley. And then this is the important piece of equipment. Uh, it comes into play. These four feet have got silicon pads. Miles, have we got a silicon pad somewhere? In the uh, they take them off from the yeah. side here. Um, the, um, these, this is the expensive piece of kit because this applies at your bare foot. When you do that, applies on average 120 grams per square centimeter. That's the average pressure of, of, our, of a human foot. And um, that's critical to treading. You're squeezing the skins without breaking the pits. So this, it works on compressed air, and if you were brave enough, you could put your hand under there, and it would be no more weight than me treading on your, you know, gently treading on your foot, um, because it, it releases as soon as it feels that pressure and comes up. So that's the expensive piece of equipment. So this is no more or less than uh, the, the equivalent, and they're, they're four sets of, you can see two and they're two on the other side, and they're offset, so they cover everything. And this machine just goes, you'll see them working. Uh, this one, we only start, when, Miles, where's he gone? I think, okay, uh, uh, on Friday this will start working. But this moves across and we, we timed it to how much, how long it would take men to, and women to, to, to go across. What we do at Vesuvio tomorrow night is exactly what this does. We, we timed it to the same pace and it does it at the same pace. <laughs>
round it for the Tony McCaptain, but obviously there's no capping for here. Um, he's, right. uh, he's just making sure that the must is well, really, properly. It just hit the ground, but it's not made for that. Here you can see how very, because it's meeting resistance as it gets to the bottom. Yeah. Oh, there's a wonky, a wonky foot there. A wonky, uh, yeah. Just, you can see it from here. Right, not the foot, right in the middle, one of those, um... One of the pads, one of the pads. On which foot? This foot here. That can play a song. About one, two, one, two, three, about five in, it's slightly dropped. Got a long toenail. 